Peggy 18. One of the most exciting elements of working on Brink was bridging the gap between single player and multiplayer. All the storytelling, all the character, the drama, the pacing that you get in a traditional single player game. And on the other hand, you've got these fantastic multiplayer experiences, which you can't get any other way. We're finally blurring the lines between offline gaming and online gaming. Whether you play single player, cooperatively, or multiplayer in full battles where everybody is a human player, you get to advance your same in-game character. You're not just generic first-person shooter. Whether you're playing for the security or the resistance, you are someone within the arc, and the outcome really matters to you. For many years, we've been trying to come up with a mission system that's truly dynamic, that challenges you continuously with cool new things that you could do, new gameplay experiences. And I think with Brink, we've finally achieved that. Standing guard at primary. This is not a preset path. You are telling your own story. And your story is different than everybody else's because of the experiences you are having in these battles. Go for the command post. It's based around an artificial intelligence squad commander. And the idea behind this is that irrespective of the combat role that you're playing, your location on the battlefield, what your squad mates are doing even, this squad commander is going to generate a bunch of things that you could be doing that helps the team progress. So you know, it's all about just bringing it up, seeing what you want to do and going. If you can't be at the front line ensuring that the hostage gets rescued from the enemy terrorists, break off, go off to the sidelines, find a command post that hasn't been taken. Because if you take that, it'll give a bonus to your entire team. Moving to secure primary. <laughs> you earn experience points for all of your successes, and you can spend these experience points on cool weapon unlocks, upgrades, abilities, tools, and items that allow you to specialize even further. Turret deploy! It's a cool time because we're starting to see these walls crumble between the genres. Brink, it's a shooter, there's action elements, and it's a kind of interactive story all at the same time. So maybe it's time we just stop worrying about the labels, we're just going to get on with enjoying it.